Hello crafters, this is Kim, and for my first sewing project of the year, I made a, <coughs> excuse me, a textile apron, or craft apron for a craft sale, anything of that sort, and I can also use it as a tote when I'm not using it for a sale. I thought I got the idea because I bought myself a Kindle this year, and I just have to figure out a way after I do that <clears throat> to make it look like a book or whatever so that it's an actual tote and I can carry it around with me. Now, <clears throat> to get this, let's see if we can get it in one shot. To get this without messing anything up or having to use anything extra, I'll show you how you what to do with the old pair of pants. Now these are a new pair and my new favorite pair. Those are the last ones were the old favorite pair and why I want to upcycle them. First, I cut off <clears throat> the legs to make, I don't know, about here, I believe it was. It's about, I don't know, maybe three to four inches below the crotch. And just enough to make, like, you know, so that it looked like you were making a pair of shorts. That's the best way I can explain that to you. Now, in order to get that, in order to get the waistband part, I used, oh, I don't have it out. I used the seam ripper. Oops, I'm sorry. I used the seam ripper along here, and yes, you have to rip, take out this <coughs> along here, and then here, in order to get this part out, and then I just re -sewed the seam when I was done. Same thing on this side. I just cut one, one whole side I just took off. And that is here, because they plan to use it for another project this year, which I will have to show you at another time, because I don't have the picture, but if you look up the book pyramids, or the e-reader, or whatever you want to call it, um, there's like pyramid stands, that's what I'm going to make out of it, because... Those things are like thirty dollars or more, as far as I've seen anyway. So I thought to make one with my own pockets, I could put my remote controls in it, and anything else I need while watching TV and playing around on the Kindle or reading. There you go. Now <clears throat> that I believe was the left side. So anything you do on this side, you basically do on this side, only one side gets taken off. Um, then when you do that, after you do that, I had pieces that were a little longer, so I just folded them up, and then I used heat bond. I'll show you. <coughs> I use Ultra Hold Heat Bond. This one is is a smaller pack. I forget how much I got it for, but it's supposed to be no so. But I still sew it because it'll if there's any pull or anything, it'll come apart. So I always sew it. That's how I make my uh, lines, especially for a long spot. This way I could just go right through it with the sewing machine if I use the sewing machine. So, as I said, you take all this, all, you pull this apart, and then you just keep 
the old button, just put it around, and out of part of what I had cut off, I had an extra piece, pardon me, I had an extra piece which I kept here, what was it from, I really don't remember, but I thought I could use it as, you know, to make it a little more comfortable around the waist, I can, there's like already a hole here, so I can <clears throat> just sew around there, this way I can put the button through there, and, even better, you can hide some cash in there if you want. Um, so that was that was the idea to this. It's just, you know, to add a little give. And I think that's all. I don't I think I got and then we have these on the back. <clears throat> when you re sew everything back on, you wanna use as close as you can to the color that they already had there, and being that this doesn't have an actual embroidery like this one does, and you can see if, if you're into embroidery, or maybe even like, because I know our Durant here has, you can even just ha see if maybe they can do something for you really quick, just tell the person that you're willing to give them a couple of bucks for doing it for you, especially if you don't have your own embroidery machine. So I think that is all, but if I forgot something, just leave a note in the comments, and I'll take care, and I'll see what I can do about it. And, and if you guys want anything that you're interested in learning how to do, if I know how to do it, let me know to make a video of it. Okay? Have a good day.